All right, y'all. We're going to Joe's Retro World. Today, I'm going to be answering a few questions that some people were having when I did it in my last video. And that video was the Wii, a retro gaming beast in 2022. And it really is. But to get the best out of it, you got to go through and make sure you got all the settings correct. And one setting that I did not have correct was my Game Boy Advance emulator. And so today I'm going to show you what emulator I use. And then I'm going to go and show you how I went ahead and went into the settings and adjusted the video settings. So that I'll get the best picture possible coming out of my Wii onto my CRT TV. Because I still use original um, equipment. That's the best for me and I love that. And the Wii, even though it's emulating all these other systems... It still works better than a lot of the other emulators out there. And plus, it was super cheap. And it is technically original equipment because the Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and all them were owned by Nintendo. So, technically, it is. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Alrighty, y'all. So, with this Wii, it is hacked. I do have the homebrew channel on it. And I also run HD RetroVision component cables. These are the... This is the box right here. Let me... Grab it. All right. So I use these. And the reason why I spend $30 on these cables is because it gives you the sharpest, crispest, most beautiful picture that you will ever have on your beautiful CRT TVs, no matter what it is. Now, you do have to have component uh, inputs into your TVs, unfortunately. So if you don't, yeah, it's kind of hard for you to use retro bc uh hd retrovision cables but if you got component inputs hey you're in luck because you're going to get the best picture that you can possibly get from um while playing on your wii especially emulating all these other 16-bit and 8-bit systems that only run in 240p originally so now you're able to uh get the best out of it and have red green blue 240p signal to your your uh TV here, okay? All right, I apologize for that noise, but just go ahead and turn on my Wii. I'm gonna push the power button once, and I have it to go to boot two, and so it'll be this menu, and you'll understand what I mean later once you uh, homebrew your own Wii. So I push power button once, push the reset button, and that's my enter button, so now it'll start my Wii, okay? So I'm presented with this screen because I went directly to the homebrew channel. Now from here, I'm be able to go through and choose from my various apps. These apps are in the homebrew browser app. Once you open this app, then you'll be able to go through and there's a whole list of different apps to choose from because there's more than just one app. But mine were pre-chosen from the person who showed me how to set up my Wii homebrew. So he recommended the MGBA emulator, okay? So this is the one that I use. It works great. I recommend it to you. And of course, I got the other ones, but we're not talking about them. We're talking about this one today. So let's go ahead and open her up. If you push A on the button, and then we're going to push A again on load. It's going to load up. Now, these are my ROMs, yes, I have multiple copies of them because I just messed up and did that. But you just go through and whatever is highlighted is the ROM that you're going to play. Okay, so the first thing you do is go ahead and choose a game. So let's find a beautiful game. One of the most beautiful games that I found was Metro Fusion. So we're going to go ahead and push A on the Wii Turbo Control Pad. I mean, a Pro pro controller that i got it's so much easier to use this and so i'm just gonna push a it's gonna load now that the game is loading let's go ahead and push home button once and this menu will pop up now from here you can go to a save state you can load a state you can take a screenshot you can configure your system reset the game or exit the game what i want to do i want to go to configure so with the d-pad I just go down to it, you know, push A once. Now, as for frame skip, I have no idea about that. I believe those are more advanced settings for like the PS1 um, 
emulator and all that. But for right now, I don't need the frame skip on the GBA settings. So now we're going to go through. And the very first thing that I changed was video mode. Now right here, if you push A, why it's highlighted, it's going to say to change to auto direct recommended. I do not recommend that you put that. Click A. It's going to go to free either 480i, 480p, or 240p. Always put it on 240p. Trust me. Once she has it on 280, 240p, leave it there. Push down. You're going to go to screen mode. Now you push A again. Now here you can stretch the screen. Pixel accurate or stretch. Okay, that's it. Leave it on pixel accurate. Go down once. It has filters. This is filtering. Now here if you push A, it'll change to bilinearly smoother. And it helps smooth out some of the edges and the little phosphorus dots. If you put it binary, linear, well, bilinary, pixelated, then you still get that little pixelated, but it's, um, how do you say it? I can't explain exactly how it changes the look, 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 but it looks way better, trust me, than the other setting. I leave it on pixelated. This is my favorite one. It makes it look really pixelated to where, um, technically they're not pixels. These are phosphorus dots, okay, on a CRT TV. Mix pixelated down there will give you the best scan line look. It'll actually make it look like a professional video monitor or broadcasting video monitor, okay? BBM or PBM. And then if you go down, you get to the next one. It says horizontal stretch. This originally was set to 1x. And I noticed that it was stretched out and it didn't look good. Even this menu screen right here actually was stretched out too much and i couldn't even read because um the s and the u's and the m's and a's the capital letters were actually all cut off so i had to keep going through it and seeing what was the best fitting and for me 0.8 x was the best and for vertical stretch for up and down 0.9 was the best for me now other people would say that it is not uh, the perfect ratio, um, it needs to be scaled perfectly. And what that means is is the Game Boy Advance is only at 140p. So if you double that, and then technically it's supposed to be at 280p. But there's no 280p mode. There's a 240p mode. And to me, that looks really, really good. Okay. Um, before that, it looked uh, just ugly. Just very, very ugly. It was blurry, washed out, and when I switched it over to 240p on this video mode, it cleared all that up, made it super sharp. So I'm going to show you what it looks like on auto detect. Then I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like on the other settings. So for right now, let's go ahead and save it by pushing A on the word save. And it'll actually start playing. Give me one second. This, uh oh. All right, let me move my camera up. See if I can get a, a little sharper in image. All right. Okay. So I don't know if you can tell from the camera. It looks good, but it is actually just a little blurry. Okay. Even though it looks good, it's just a little blurry. Let's see if I could turn this light off and help you get a better picture. Okay. There you go. All right. I'm just trying to focus too, too much. I need a... Okay. Now, what we're going to do is go back over here. And we're going to fix this up. We're going to make it to where that press start looks really, really uh, clear. So we'll push the home button. Go back to configure. And go all the way back down to video mode. And we're going to set it to 240p. Go down to save and hit save. 
All right. And you can actually tell the difference on the camera. The press start got super clear. It is very, very tight. Even the gameplay has cleared up. You can zoom in with uh, your computer or your high def 4K TV. So with just that simple change, it really improves the, the quality of the game. You can see how beautiful these colors are. I mean, look at that. That, that looks better than the Super Nintendo game. That looks way better than Super Metroid. I mean, this this is just just beautiful. It's it's amazing how great the Game Boy Advance looks being emulated on the Wii through component cables. And the component cables do make a difference. Look at that ship. Look how bright, perfect, sharp the image is. A little while ago, it was kind of blurry. Now it's not. Okay, y'all, so I hope this helps you out. I hope that you go get the emulator and set it up just like I did and then just start enjoying it and start enjoying all the games. Every single game on here looks just super, super good. I'm gonna go ahead and let this play out and allow you to just finish watching it. But if you don't want to, go ahead and stop the video now. All right, y'all. So until next time, peace and much love from Joe's Retro World.
All right, y'all. Peace and much love.